What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But today, my beautiful people, we got this Nikado Avocado Trick Stephanie. So I got this joint right, yo, on the first try, bro. Yeah, better smash that thumbs up button, man. But look, man, hey, let's see what this joint popping on, man. What new information are we gonna get? Let's have a discussion down in the comments down below if you've been following this. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sash. Happy New Year's, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for making 2019 the best year of my entire life. You guys have truly just blessed me and I'm so grateful. A lot of my friends don't watch YouTube and this is my chance to get to be like, oh my gosh, did you hear about this? Anyways, I love you guys so much. So I hope 2020 is the best year ever for you guys. So guys, Nick finally responded to Stephanie and this is the most dramatic video ever it was an hour and a half okay <laughs> the video was a movie i about lost my mind watching nick try and you know make points if you guys don't know stephanie and nick and that's too funny though y'all already know the personality bro you know it was gonna be dramatic come on now they are in the mukbang community and stephanie made a video about why she was afraid of nick because he made her feel very 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 uncomfortable when they were doing a collab he kept pressuring her to talk about veronica wang talk about tea talk about things she didn't want to talk about she didn't want to start drama in any of these right. videos and she felt so pressured and she felt so upset that he was getting angry by her not talking about it she had a full-on panic attack and decided not to film with him the next day and he was so pissed at her the way he was talking to her she showed the text messages it was very very triggering like i have a friend that definitely talked to me that way and i've been fizzling her out and seeing those text messages i was like that's exactly how she talked to me oh gosh yo do you see this though hey man have you ever been in this situation look i think too much of her story fits together like um you see her security camera bro you can't come on she not faking this she can't it's just very manipulating and makes it feel like things that you are feeling and going through are not valid and suddenly the other person is the victim and not you. So Nick finally decided he was going to respond to her in a video. After dragging it on and on and on, he posted so many mukbangs on like all three of his channels and he didn't address it once. Three. The only time he addressed it was in an Instagram. Three? You got three channels? One, two, three? I messed that all up with three? Y'all watching all three? That's crazy, bro. Like, I don't understand it. How much can you eat? And he basically just said that this was a hit job and that none of this is true. So, in the video, a lot of people I saw were saying that he made a lot of valid points the things that he was saying and honestly i didn't make a video right after i watched the video because i wanted to see how things were going to play out i knew more was going to come out and i know more is still going to come out honestly the whole time i was watching his video he would just seem so angry at stephanie and he just wanted to debunk everything that she said he started off by talking about the fact that she accused him of taking photos of her home when she was not around okay. and basically he was upset that she started her video off making it seem like nick had attacked her or touched her or did something very inappropriate towards her in her home um other than just making her feel uncomfortable in a video he basically was upset that she had insinuated things were a lot worse than they were by talking about the me too movement talking about home oh. invasion and all of this stuff in her past now i honestly think that stephanie included talking about hey man look look I told y'all in my last video, see, this is another reason to, like, stay away from collabs when you haven't even, you don't even really know the person. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can learn from experience, but I suggest, man, if you start YouTube or anything, get to know the person before you collab with them, man, because people are in this for different reasons, man. And you can tell by certain energies that people have 
in what they want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, what type of energy they're trying to bring out or put on the internet. You know what I'm saying? If you put out negativity, which I've seen, it'll come back. It's going to come back to you. Some negative things are going to happen to you. And if you're a positive person or you're trying to be a positive person, that if you collab with somebody like that with such negative energy, it's, it's, it's not going to go well. You bring a negative energy into your circle, so therefore you're getting diluted. So you're going to be brought into some bullshit at the end of the day. Her past, her past trauma, and all of this stuff that happened to her and how she feels about people coming into her home and how she has this crazy security system because I feel like Stephanie wanted everybody to know that she has this past that makes her very sensitive and she's easily triggered and she doesn't want to bring anything harmful into her life anymore. And so when Nick took photos of her house while she was in the bathroom, when she saw that on the security footage, that was alarming to her, like a red flag that this isn't a good person. And the reason that she thought that way was just due to her past and the fact that she has trouble trusting people and the fact that people have come into her house and done things to her before. Know that the only reason why she was even looking at the security footage was because on Instagram, Nick had threatened to release voice recordings he had of Stephanie that he secretly took in private of her and she wanted to see if she could see that on the security camera footage and instead she saw him taking photos of her home and she was scared because of that. I mean, certain stuff is just making too much sense now. You feel me? Look, look, what would y'all be thinking? Put yourself in that situation if somebody was in your crib. It's a difference when somebody's taking like a selfie in your house or something like that. That's cool. But you're sitting here taking pictures of my crib. I don't, I don't like that either. Threatened that they secretly took voice recordings of you. I think you're going to be spooked as to why they're taking photos of your home. Like, what are they planning? I get that the beginning clip of her video, it looks like Nick is the one attacking her and not, you know, her boyfriend consoling her through a panic attack. I could understand how people could skew and see it that way. That's what I thought initially. Of it. I did think that something worse happened to her other than just feeling uncomfortable, but I still don't think that Nick really confessed to doing anything wrong here and that is very upsetting because he did make her feel uncomfortable and she didn't want to expose veronica she didn't want to spill any tea and he made her feel super pressured into doing so and i think stephanie's feelings are so valid especially after hearing some of the things that i've heard following nick's video but basically nick tried to debunk that he ever took photos of her house said that was a plain lie by saying he got a full house tour. Getting a tour of someone's home is not giving you permission to take mm. photos of their house what? when they are not around you. And he said that he took photos of her home when she was there and showed one only one photo that he took of the kitchen counter where she was also in the photo. And the second photo that he showed, in the photo that Stephanie is in, there's a laptop at the end of the bar right in front of like the security system TV. And then in the second photo that he tries to justify that she was giving him this tour and he was taking this photo was a photo that he definitely took when she was in the bathroom. There was no laptop in the corner. And then he took a photo of the living room. It did not seem like she was there. Hey man. I ain't taking sides on nothing. I just think that just be wise on who you collab with. But at the same time, look at it, man. When you did something wrong, the easiest thing to do to get yourself up out of it is be, you know what I'm saying, be a human being. I ain't gonna say be a man or a woman. Be a human being and own up to your shit. Be an adult. You know. Guys. I just don't Therefore, think nobody can hang it over your head. You made a mistake. That whole situation, he just said, I'm sorry that I did that. I didn't really realize that was an invasion of privacy. I just loved her home so much, and I wanted to photograph it. I just think he should have said that because clearly he lied about that. Anyways, he tried to say that Stephanie not wanting to talk about Veronica is such a BS excuse, basically, because she had told Zach and him that she wanted to do a Shane Dawson-style docu-series with Veronica, no, with Veronica, he showed the text messages and she said that she wanted to do a documentary style series and he doesn't understand why she was so uncomfortable talking about this 
It literally says right there, she wants it to be less drama focused and more about the personal struggle behind everything that happened. And he was trying to get her to spill the tea and she doesn't want drama. She wants less drama. Oh my gosh. If you're working on something that is so special to you, if you're working on a project in general, it's usually a secret project. YouTubers do a lot of things in private, a lot of things in secret. And I just feel like she felt uncomfortable feeling pressured to talk about something she wasn't ready to talk about yet. Exactly. If you see if you see the videos and stuff like that, you can tell, man. Like there's certain people that are like super, super pushy, but I feel like it was. You can feel the energy. When you seen the video, come on now. Let's let's not do that, people. We 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 know what was going on, you know. I've been around people that want you to talk about certain things you don't want to, but I'm the type of person that tell you flat out dry. Like I'm not going to, so stop repeating yourself, you feel me? So that's when people, you know, they be like, Oh, you know, I'm very straightforward with stuff like that. You know, like I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I'm gonna let you know, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna talk about that. And I feel like you know, she should have checked them though. I would check them on camera. <laughs> Real talk though. And one, she also said that she wanted to do this docu series with Veronica. I don't think that she ever wanted to talk about Veronica behind her back in a video discussing the drama without True. her. I think she wanted to do it the right way, True. properly, like Shane Dawson would in a docu series. So she yeah. didn't want to just BS it and make it look all silly by spilling tea. And have tea channels come for her by talking about it. Right, in being messy. Thong. She wanted to do it properly her way where she could control the narrative and not have Nick Okado speak for her. The weirdest part about this is that he did not like Stephanie at all. At all. All. I'm telling you Stephanie into feeling comfortable with him to be friends with her in order to make these videos that I could only assume and that people in the comments could assume was only to make videos to potentially get her to spill tea on Veronica Wang. That's the crazy. The only reason why he wanted to collab with her was for that reason. He manipulated her into thinking that they were friends so that he could make... You know what? That's crazy, man. I'm telling you, people. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all, man. Keep y'all energy positive and pure, man. Don't let certain people into your bubble, into your energy. Everybody don't deserve to be around you. You understand that? Look. This person was like, they already knew. It's people out here that don't like you already, but they were smiling your face and everything just to bring you down, man. So watch, man. Watch. You ain't learned nothing from me. Do that for me, please. Veronica Wang drama. And there's even more proof of this because today, Zach finally came out. Zach, who collapsed man, with Zach. the two of them that stayed silent in the text messages where he was being mean to Stephanie and wasn't sticking up for her and people were upset, Zach finally came out today and defended the situation. With text message proof, this is what Zach had to say. My take on what happened. Nick never liked Stephanie from the beginning. This was obvious and stated in his response. In my opinion, Nick had already decided on two ways the collab would work. With that wow. in mind, none of Stephanie's re responses were going to satisfy Nick because I don't think she wanted to spill the tea in this setting. As soon as the cameras cut on our three-way collab, I immediately asked Nick why he was trying to expose Stephanie and that the tea channels would certainly be uploading titles like Nikano making Stephanie so uncomfortable for five minutes straight if he Ooh. were to upload the video minimally edited as he normally does for his mukbangs he didn't seem to understand why i was taking this position on the video until he watched the footage himself the next day i would have been shocked had the collab still happened based on how uncomfortable nick made stephanie the night before so the cancellation came at no surprise to me by the time nick asked right. stephanie for a reschedule in the group chat he had already texted me privately saying he was going to expose her. This leads me to believe even further that his main priority was simply to expose her all along. A video with all the texts from the day the collabs were canceled had been posted. As you will see, Nick became increasingly aggressive as I didn't want to join him in condemning Stephanie in private. These Ooh. texts demonstrate how difficult it is to voice an opposing opinion to his. Whenever I would disagree with him, I'd always have a looming fear he would get mad and use it against me. In my opinion, these are the only relevant private text messages which should be shared as they are actually about the event in question and not from three months ago zach posted text messages oh my man zach came through with this he came through with the facts didn't he that's crazy you know what i'm saying look man i already like his vibe man you know i like his stance on it last time 
And people can't attack him for not like, oh, taking up. He ain't want nothing to do. Taking up for uh, Stephanie. Stephanie had herself, though, honestly. She had the receipts. She had her facts and everything straight. And she told y'all what it was. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying, Zach ain't want nothing to do with the drama. He just got pulled into it. You know what I'm saying? It, You know, it's, this is messy. Nobody wants to be in this situation except for like a narcissist piece of caca. You feel me? Which they're dealing with. Between him and Nick from the day that Stephanie canceled the club and he was very, very upset and the ones that really struck me were the ones that she wow. said. You notice how her text was didn't mention rescheduling? LMAO. I'm exposing her tonight. I'm she exposing her tonight, bro. This dude is a... It's right here. I believe Zach. Bro, I believe Zach, man, over everything. B and B about Veronica over an hour to me. But wants to play the Love and Rainbows game like a PR statement. And literally told me that we'd talk about everything on my channel as I was the one who made the videos in the first place. So crappy she had to involve you like that. And he said, oh my god, keep me out of it, please. I feel like she set me up telling me to talk about Veronica and then turning around saying she never wanted to talk about her. To make me look bad, this situation right here. She said she wanted to talk about Veronica, but she never said she wanted to do it in a mukbang. She said she wanted to do it with Veronica in a docu-series, and that is way different than filming a mukbang and asking her if she has anything to say and asking her if she has anything that she wants to talk about. And basically the way that Nick was talking to Zach obviously made him feel uncomfortable, and the statement that Zach made saying that whenever you voice an opinion that is different than Nick, and he has a fear as well, that he would get mad and use things against him. And that is exactly what happened to Stephanie. That's, she just felt weird. so, so fearful and so sad that she had upset Nick and that that is the reason why she had a panic attack. This whole situation is just so insane to me. I cannot believe that Nick is trying to debunk all these things with invalid text messages and stories from other friends. If he didn't like Stephanie right. in the beginning, he should have never collabed with her. I don't care if you want clout or what, but if you don't like someone, don't freaking interact with them. It doesn't end well. Look what happened. Oh my God, that is all Facts. I'm going to say. Seriously, I mean... There's no other way that you can say that Stephanie lied or whatever in her video. She felt uncomfortable around somebody that admitted to not liking her. Hey, look at that picture, though, alone right here, man. Look at that right here alone. You can tell that. Look, man, I'm going to stop this video right here. Uh, I feel like we got enough. We got what we need. And she's just going, you know what I'm saying, give her input. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to give mine. Look, man, I feel like Zach did the right thing. He ain't want nothing to do with the drama, you feel me? And they all got kind of sucked into this thing, man. And there's certain entities, certain people out here, man, that don't want to see you do well. Don't let them stop you. Don't let them discourage you from your path and whatever, everything you want to do in your life, man. It's, I'm telling you, keep it pure. Keep your energy pure, man, because you don't want nobody to bring you down. You, everybody, man, I wish y'all the best. Wish y'all the most success in life. You know what I'm saying? I get motivated by seeing other people reach their goals and, you know what I'm saying, just become something great. You feel me? I, I don't know, man. I just, ever since I, I wasn't always.